Good morning and welcome to day four of Rossman's Big Adventure. So the plan today was to get up and get a really early start. That didn't happen. <laughs> um, I'm still at camp, just hanging out. Um, I'll probably still get going here pretty soon, but um, I'm trying to go 13 miles into Cheesecake Factory campsite. Um, I've got um, a pretty big descent and ascent um, to get there, but that's okay. Um, let's see, it's also Thursday, April 28th. It's nearly 7 a.m. Um, yeah, so hope to update you uh, pretty soon when I start walking. So. I got a very late start out of camp this morning. It is 8 a.m. I want to get started at 7 a.m. Um, because I have some big climbs today out of Unicoi Gap. And I wanted to be the Unicoi before noon, about eight miles away. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna hit that deadline, but I'm still looking to go to, it's called the Cheesecake Factory campsite. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. I can make something up. But uh, it's about 13 miles away from where I camped last night. But uh, yeah, that's the plan today. So hopefully we'll get there. So this part of the trail definitely used to be some sort of like forest service road or something. But I've always heard as a kid, like my dad and other people talking about like how you could drive really any parts of the trail with some sort of vehicle. Um, I think the Forest Service kind of shut that down a long time ago, but these are kind of the remains of all those old off-roading roads. So, uh, yeah, that's what this is. Check out this mountain laurel tunnel. I think it's pretty sweet. It goes on forever. All right, it is 9.30 a.m., which means it is time for second breakfast. I've got Milky Way. It's gonna get me through the Unicoi. Let's go. So, last night at camp was really, really nice. Like I said in my last video, it was a lot of people, really cool people, too. Um, made a lot of friends. But uh, I woke up this morning at about 3 a.m. because I had to use the bathroom. And um, the stars were absolutely gorgeous. Um, I mean, completely clear skies. Stars are beautiful. And then as I was getting back into bed, I mean, this just this guy just started sawing logs, man. I've never heard such snoring. But, uh, yeah. So, I didn't sleep super well past that point. But, um, you know, it was still a really good night at camp. Hope to get more and more used to just sleeping on the ground. Also, this trail today, I mean, this is what it's looked like pretty much for the last two miles. Just steady ups and downs. Oh my gosh, like, this is heaven on your feet. So, I've got these friends of mine who, actually she was my former boss, but she and her husband, they're now friends. Um, she, they are through hikers and they've hiked the Colorado Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, well, attempted the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, anyway, it's Emily and Parks Carpenter. Um, but yeah, anyway, on one of her videos, she said something along the lines of like, you know, when you're hiking, you do 15 miles a day, at the end of the day, you're sore, you're tired, you don't feel like you can go on. You go to bed, you wake up the next day, and your body just totally reboots. I mean, literally, like, your body just somehow or another rejuvenates itself overnight, and you can hike another 15 the next day. Um, and I, that's true. Like, it's really weird how your body does that. I mean, even with my ankle, like, you know, here we are. We're hiking 13 miles today. Hiked 11 yesterday. Rolled it the day before. So... Yeah, it's just wild what your body is capable of. 
See these rocks? That's the friggin' trail. Like, just clear them out when you're making this thing. You might as well. There's my buddy Todd right there in the middle of the screen. So I'm hanging out by this water source right here. It's my last one for the next probably two miles. Um, but this is my first break of the day, so I'm just relaxing and enjoying it. Um, but I just ran into these two guys, uh, Matador and um, Punisher. Uh, they th they threw hot last year, um, except for Punisher. He uh, the reason why I think he looks like Punisher, like the superhero. I think that's why they call him that. But anyway, um, uh, but Punisher started in Franklin, finished, and so he's doing the Georgia Trail, and so Matador was doing that with him this year. So. Um, but they just were talking to me and they're like, yeah, like we did it in five months. And just, they were like, you know, enjoy the trail, have fun, stay in hostels, just get the whole trail experience. So just cool to hear, you know, some other through hikers just give their advice and, um, and to give their encouragement and support. Um, it's just a really, really cool thing. So again, just the community continues to just kind of amaze me and blow my mind of just how, how kind everyone is and excited they are for you. And, um, yeah, it's really, really a special thing. All right, so I'm getting close to Unicoi Gap. I'm gonna stop there for lunch and before I head back up uh, on the other side. Um, but whenever I get close to something, I always throw on Free Bird by Leonard Skinner because I know that within that by the time that song ends, I'll probably end up being where I need to be. So I'm about to throw on some Skinner and then get into Unicoi. All right. Made it into Unicoi Gap. I'm telling you, that hike down was steep as all get out. Um, so it really sucked. But uh, on the flip side, we got another steep ascent. So today's just gonna be full of suck. Lunch today is a burrito <laughs> with some pepperoni. I'm not using Lost my thumb is just so <laughs> jacked up right now. But yeah. All right, so I'm coming out of Unicoi Gap, and it is straight freaking up. So, we are going at a snail's pace to get to the top of this thing. Um, which is actually working out well. Conserving some energy, not super tired, just slow and steady, no stops, made to the top. But uh, I just passed this guy named Bullfrog and his wife, I don't remember what her trail name is. And I think their daughter, her name is Moonshine, which uh, she got that nickname in Blairsville at Granddaddy Mims. So, Granddaddy Mims, you officially got Appalachian Trail Through Hikers named after you. Congrats. Anyway, so, they're from Oklahoma. And I just never pass up an opportunity to talk crap to people from Texas or Oklahoma because while their states provide a lot of resources like cattle which you know provides beef and oil and all that stuff states suck to go through they're not fun to drive through there's nothing there to see and so I was just giving them a little crap for that which was just kind of fun but uh yeah really nice people they're on a 30-day hike into Gatlinburg um, so yeah, that's that, but, uh, yeah, I hope you can tell this is freaking steep because I'm, whew, I'm running out of air. All right, so I made it to the top of Rocky Mountain, just out of Unicoi. That was some steep freaking climbing. Um, but check out this view. This is looking back towards South Georgia. I don't think that's Yona Mountain near Cleveland, Georgia, but... Kind of looks like it, but yeah, gorgeous. Okay, so I've had a change of plans. The plan was to go to the Cheesecake Factory campsite, halfway up Trey Mountain, summit Trey Mountain tomorrow morning, and then go into, I think it's 76, whatever that road is between Hiawassee and Rabin County tomorrow. However, most of the people I'm hiking with are wanting to make it over to Trey Mountain Shelter. I don't think I'll be alone tonight, but I'd rather be with my friends 
who I know are going to be at Dream Mountain. So I may push it another one or two miles, however long that is, over Dream Mountain. Here is the catch. That mountain or that mountain is Trey Mountain. I think it's that one. But I have to go all the way down here to go all the way back up there. It's like a thousand feet of elevation gain just to shelter um, with my friends. That would make it also a 15 or 16-ish mile day. So we'll see how I feel when I get to Cheesecake uh, Campsite. All right, so I'm here at Indian Grave Gap. Again, don't ask me why they called it that, but that's what it is. Trail goes up that way, um, but yeah. All right, check out this part of the trail. Going up to Trey Mountain right out of Indian Grave Gap. This is pretty sweet. So this is the Cheesecake Factory campsite. This is where I was gonna stay tonight. But as you can see, there's not a soul here. So I think I made the right move to press on. All right, I'm halfway up Trey Mountain. Um, I think it's the second highest point in Georgia on the AT. But yeah, it's been a good day. One of the coolest parts of the AT so far has just been running into the same people over and over again. Like for example, there's this guy named Hitman. They call him Hitman because he uh, his last name is Heitzman. So just Hitman, he's not an actual assassin or you know hired killer. Anyway, but anyway, so I was hiking with him all day on Tuesday in the rain. We kept passing each other. And then I passed him right before Blood Mountain and never saw him again. And so, lo and behold today, I'm sitting there at Unicoi eating lunch and who should pop out of the woods but Hitman. And so I just was like, man, I haven't seen you in two days. Thought you quit. He just laughed, thought it was kind of funny. And he was like, no, he was like, I was wondering where you went too. So anyway, it's just fun like how you, run into people and the same thing happened the other night like this guy that i camped with on monday night saw him last night so i don't know it's just really neat all right made it to the top of trey mountain through those mountain laurels and then i'm just gonna go down to camp on that side all right so this is the view from the north side of trey mountain this is a freaking amazing those mountains over there are the Smokies. So that's where I will eventually get to in like maybe a week and a half, two weeks. But yeah, holy cow, this is beautiful. That made it to Trey Mountain Shelter. It's over there. I'm camped out right here, and I've got this view in clear skies. <sighs> All right, it is officially my favorite time of the day, nap time. So tonight's dinner is uh, instant mashed potatoes and noodles with this tuna mix. So I finally got to use my down jacket because it is freezing up here. But uh, yeah, check back with you when uh, I'm done with dinner to let you know how it was. Very clean. Well, dinner was not as good as expected. I also burnt the bottom of my uh, thing, if you can see it. Um, so I've been washing it out in this here spring. Hold on. Yep, so this has been my sink tonight. Um, I dumped some of it over there. Um, I gave the rest to the dog. There's two dogs up there at camp. Um, but yeah, very disappointed in how my dinner turned out. Um, but you know, now I know that mashed potatoes and noodles, not a good combo for this container. So it's been really nice at these shelters because they all have these bear hangs that are already like pre 
made. You don't have to hang them yourself. They're just cables attached to a tree. And you just unclip it there. It falls down. You clip it on. And then you just hoist it back up. And then clip it back on. Really, really cool stuff. All right. Just been hanging out with uh, Bullfrog, Red Alert, and Moonshine at the campfire over there by the shelter. Whatever that is. Anyway. But yeah, we've got like a whole tent city up here. Just all kinds of tents and people over that way. Um, it's gorgeous tonight. I mean, look at that. It's just it's been an amazing night at camp, just hanging out with everybody and, and getting to know um, some fellow through hikers and section hikers. But uh, but yeah, still no trail name. Uh, still no trail name. But uh, hopefully that's going to come soon. I'm freezing cold on top of this mountain. So I'm going to brush my teeth get my sleeping bag and head to bed but anyway happy trails thanks for following along. hey y'all this is ralston here i'm hiking the at not only just for the adventure and the thrill and the fun of hiking the at but i'm also hiking for isaiah 117 house which is an organization dedicated to helping foster kids at the point of of time that they are taken out of their house um, by the department of childhood services um, they have a great place set up for them to be able to go and th where they're loved and cared for. And so if you have time today and want to make a donation, visit the link below and it will take you to the, to the donation page. Thank you so much for following along and thank you so much for supporting Isaiah 117. See you on the trail.